hundreds of people, 140 some people killed in Paris. Is that right? 129. 129. Someone's been watching this evening. 47. <laughs> <laughs> and quite a few in, in killed in Lebanon through these, these terrorist attacks. And I just want to take a moment, because we can get hooked into that stuff. We really can glue, get glued into it. Um, remember the law of attraction. That you attract into your life experience according to your vibrational frequency. What are you focusing upon? Are you, at, are you at, uh, in, in pain and suffering about this? And we all go into some mourning about others' misfortunes. Sure, but are you staying there? You can go there and go, oh, God, it's horrible. And go right to prayer. Please bless these people. Please bless our planet. Please bless everybody involved. And thank you for the survivors. And begin to look for the good in, the good in everything. Where you can stay in the suffering and, and stay glued to CNN. Stay glued to MSN. I, I watched MSN, MSNBC for about <coughs> five minutes last night. And I was myself spiraling down <coughs> in fear. Like Susan was saying in one of her recent talks, Susan Considine. You can focus up on love or fear. There's only, there's only two places that come from in consciousness, love or fear. And, and you can, I found myself spiraling down into fear. Like, when will it happen next here? Oh my God, if it can happen in Paris, what about here? And so we can go that, and, and then we're attracting negativity and fear and fearful things into our lives when, when we're doing that. We'll come out of back out of fear. And the important thing is to find yourself as Abraham Hicks says, in the, in the vortex. Get yourself, move yourself up, emotional scale, into the vortex, back to happiness, joy, and freedom. As quickly as possible. Yeshua, the great prophet of, of, of in the Judeo-Christian tradition, Jesus, as he was known by the, to the Greeks, Yeshua, to the uh, Hebrews, um, said, be in this world, but not of this world. Be in the world, but not of it. So yes, you turn on CNN, you see it there. Oh my God, that's horrible. Oh my God. Now what do you do from that point on is what he's talking about, be in this world but not of this world. You can be of this world and get, be in there and get angry, resentful. Let's go get the ISIS, let's go get those Muslims, let's go, let's go drop the bomb, let's, let's put boots on the ground, you can go there with it and just spiral down. And more war comes out of that, more tragedy, more suffering. You know, or you can be in this world, but not of it. And go to a higher place in consciousness. Go, go, okay, I'm in fear now. I'm in upset. And like Susan was saying last Sunday, create a gap for yourself. Create a gap between the upset and the fear. Deep breath and acceptance. Ah, this is what happened. Ah, okay, and I'm upset about it. And I know, I, I know something... You know, it, uh, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. I'm looking at my own vibrational frequency. I'm going to get into happiness. I'm going to pray for those. And ask God, what, can, what is there I can do about this, dear, dear Divine Spirit? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing constructive you can do. Get on to something else in your life. Don't stay stuck in the, in the grief in the morning, the anger. But there might be something you could do. Maybe there's a donation you can make to some cause. May, some people might be called to get, go to work with doctors with, without borders and go contribute to doctors without borders or, or join doctors without borders. I know some nurses who might consider that. And doctors. There's things that maybe you can do. Ask in prayer. And then move on. Don't stay wallowing in the anger and the suffering over it. Okay? That's my suggestion. Because remember, the law of attraction will create in your life and in your business and your family according to your vibrational frequency. Are you in love or fear? Are you in prosperity or worry about the future?